What's up guys, thank you so much for stopping by for another episode of Low Knows. This is the place where we help content creators just like you get better every single day through audio, video, and tech. So if you already have it, hit that subscribe and bell button. If you find the videos helpful, well then go ahead and leave a like. And if not, leave a dislike, guys. I just need to know which videos are helping you out. Okay, so so many times we are using like our iPhone or our professional or a higher end camera to film our videos, right? Maybe something for our main camera, maybe something for our B-roll. And when it comes to the post-processing process, a lot of times our footage does not match. And in case with me, a lot of times I use my iPhone for like a lot of video, no B-roll or maybe like secondhand footage or maybe like a second camera recording at the same time while I'm doing something. And I did just that in one of my previous videos. Now, let me take you into my session right here where I, I've got my mixer here and then underneath my mixer, I actually have me right here. Now, the footage right now seems similar. It looks similar, right? As far as like the color values, but it wasn't always like this. So let me go back to my color section. And right now we're in here in Premiere Pro. We'll jump to Vegas Pro show you, so I can show you how to do the same thing. Um, but we'll go to our white balance section. You can see I have my white balance, the temperature brought all the way over here. Now, originally when I first brought this footage in, it looked like this. Whoa, big difference iPhone 10, what's going on? You like you all of a sudden you have like this orange reddish tint applied to all of your videos. Not cool. So within the white balance section, within the temperature section, I had to bring it all the way down to 50 because our white balance just was not matching. Let me show you the difference. This is before. And then if you look at the footage underneath it, it's kind of like a neutral color, a reddish color, a neutral color. So I'll bring it back up. I'll go over here, bring it around to 50. That was a value where I felt comfortable. All right, and we can see that now it has like that more silver look. It's now matching. We have that more natural color, okay? It looks natural, a lot more closer. Okay, so let's do the same thing within Vegas Pro. All right, so we jump into Vegas Pro, and here we go. Same footage, but it's, it still has that red, orangey, warm temperature kind of look. So what you want to do is go to your video effects, go to Vegas, and go to color balance. Drag your color balance onto your footage. Well, let me... Let me just do that right now. Let's let's start over. All right, I'll delete that. I'll bring my color balance onto my footage. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to remove the red. Now the Vegas Pro process is a little, it requires a little more work. And unfortunately it's not as accurate as Premiere, but you still can get the desired effect. So our footage looks a little red, right? So we'll go ahead and remove the red. And as I remove the red, we lose the warmness of the color, but now we have like this greenish blue. So we want to go to our green and kind of remove the green. And when we get there, we can see that we're now actually getting closer to matching our color. So here's our after, here's our before. Big difference. You can see like the warmness before and our after. Bef after, before. So we can do a matchup. Here's our underneath footage. It's got the neutral color going onto it, right? And then if I apply my color balance to it, We can see now it is a, now a closer match compared to being like that. You know, unfortunately, I just wish Vegas Pro just had better options when it comes to uh, creating or using or matching your white balance compared to other cameras. But it's just a limitation of program. But you still have options to get closer there uh, to that. Um, and that's it, guys. Hopefully, this video helps, helps you out, especially if you're using your iPhone a lot, especially an iPhone 10. For some reason, whenever I use my iPhone 10, it's just it just has that tint. So I'm always forced to make these little corrections on my footage compared to when filming with my main camera at the same time. OK, guys, if you find the video helpful, go ahead and leave a like. If you loved it, feel free to subscribe. Any questions, comments or concerns, as always, leave it in the comments section uh, down below and hit me up on my social medias at low nose, low nose, sort of. And also join the Discord community at low nose to hang out with other guys just like you and me trying to improve our content creation game or just trying to get a leg up as far as just creating or improving our craft all together guys i hope this video helped you out um until next time i'll see you in the next low nose video take care guys